My name is Andrew Swan. I'm an eighth grade teacher at Bigelow Middle School in Newton, Massachusetts. Project cannot be the first time or one even one of the first times that they were doing a small group, large group kind of project. So we start establishing norms very early on, not just for class discussions, but I also have in mind that they're going to have a really some high stakes decisions to make. And the earlier we can start with practicing that, the better. Understand One thing uh, that sort of surprised me that they actually get really interested in is actually the topic itself that they end up exploring. Uh, some kids realize like, well, I never would have learned about all this about littering or about uh, mental health resources or things because the project can just go in so many different kinds of directions and, and you, the teacher, don't even know necessarily where it's going to go, which is wonderful and horrible at the same time. Um, but I think the students appreciate that. And whether they're able to verbalize it or not, I, I think they appreciate the trust that's inherent in the project too, the, that they're being trusted to take this topic, take this effort in whatever direction, wherever the information leads them. So one thing I cannot stress enough is get in contact with local officials in the district, especially the district where you work. Uh, I've had the city clerk come in and talk to students about how the voting process goes, uh, which is great right before election day. And then, now, and then I've got that contact. So then when there was a group that was looking at lowering the voting age in Newton, I knew exactly who to go to. I was a history major. I was a history teacher. I honestly had never been involved in any kind of civic action sort of campaign. Uh, again, not, not a political science guy. I sort of knew generally how these things go, but I've learned so much and it's given me such a real respect, frankly, for what nonprofit organizations do, what advocates, uh, lob even you know, lobbyists, uh, all those folks who are getting involved in this process, what it takes. And it's, Again, it's just layer after layer, year after year. Um, you go in as a rookie, you're going to make rookie mistakes. But even those mistakes, as we tell the students, right, you really do learn from. Um, I used to have kids, okay, send messages to every uh, every legislator you can. And realized in year three from a legislator who told me, yeah, they don't follow anything that's not in their constituency. You need to pressure, like the ones who are in the district where these kids uh, go to school, but pressure the heck out of them because it actually can work. So there, I mean, that's some free advice right there that took me three years to get. But there are other little nuggets like that you're going to pick up and it it will make you, sounds cheesy as it is, but it's going to make you a better citizen as well um, and more able to help your students along the way uh, to becoming citizens themselves. <laughs>